Well, welcome everyone. This is the weekly JS Dev meeting on April the 16th, 2018. Welcome everyone. Um, first of all, as always, please put your name on the attendees list if you haven't yet. And of course, put your, um, if you have any questions or agenda items, please put them on the agenda or at the bottom of the meeting minutes. Um, all right, first of all, we need a note taker. It isn't a big deal for this meeting because most of the stuff is already in the list, but any volunteers? Someone? Because being the moderator and... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to both of you, so... Um, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, you will figure it out. Um, <laughs> so please put your name into it and do it, so whoever it will be. Thanks. Um, All right, so um, let's start with the going through the stuff. Um, yes, so I will be the first one uh, really quick. Oh, and also a reminder, please be really quick because we are so many people normally. Um, so I've worked a bit on the flow typing stuff and to get it into Azure so that people can just concentrate on making their flow types work and don't need to figure out the config files for flow or for Babel and all the stuff. Um, I've did a few PRs on the IPLD spec and I hope to get them reviewed. This is kind of blocked by the reviews, but I hope fully this will work out this week. And the next thing is I need to dig into BitSwap because I will work on the next generation called Graphs, GraphSync. And hopefully I will also finish the JS IPFS CLI for the DAG API, which I think I have on the list for the past six weeks or so, so but perhaps this week. All right, that's all I have. Let's go on with uh, Diogo. Hey guys. So uh, uh, last week I made a bunch of pull requests to fix the Aglify issue. Uh, a few moments ago I made the, the last pull request, I hope, to Ajir, bringing the, the mangling and compressing uh, to, to Ajir. So I'm blocked waiting for that to be merged. Mm -hmm. And for IPFS to to update its Ajir uh, dependency. Uh, uh, Hopefully, if that's if that's okay, uh, this week I'll start to level up the Exchange Files example. It's an OKR I have, so I'm gonna start with that. And that's pretty much it. If you guys wanna check out the pull request from Ajir and test something or comments, so I'll. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Um, so the next one on the list is Hugo. Hi, guys. So I've been going through the CLI. Um, basically trying to fix one of the issues, but uh, I'm actually using this issue to go to better understand the, the code. Um, so I'm taking my time on this on this one, but basically um, I will do probably today a pull request with a, a, a better handling for the the error messages on the CLI and some suggestions and improvements. And next, I'll be trying to improve the browser build on Azure because uh, we needed to finish some other work, like the Yogo needs to do a example app and stuff like that, and uh, the browser build right now. Uh, doesn't support universal loaders or common JS or and etc. 
uh, and I'll also be working on s further improvements on the CLI regarding uh, small stuff like the help text and uh, supporting uh, standard inputs on all okay. the commands that needed. And that's it for me. All right, thank you. Um, I would have a question for you, Hugo. Um, so with my, as I plan to do the DAG API put basically for the CLI, should I better like put, like already upload the stuff I currently have or should I wait for you, your stuff to happen or what, what would be good for you? Um, it, you, you can just upload your stuff because uh, on the public case, it, it, I will make a suggestion because to uh, Yarx has a problem with one of the um, one of the methods that is used right now, um, and I need to change it a little bit. So the pull request will be a suggestion with two or three commands already implemented. Uh, but I need to, you guys to tell me if you like the, like the approach and then I'll, I'll go through the other uh, commands uh, if you guys approve it. So you just, you just go ahead and do your stuff uh, until uh, that pull request gets uh, figured out and approved. Okay, thanks. Um, I had another question, let me quickly go through the notes. Oh yeah, about the, um, just uh, um, a comment that um, as I currently involved with the flow typing stuff, there's currently a branch on Ager to, to get this working. And there we also have things like an additional build step. So I guess there might be overlap between um, getting things work for browsers and this work. So I will probably uh, give you the link to the flow stuff so yeah, we can see if there's overlap. Yeah, sure. Uh, give me the link, uh, right. and I'll integrate uh, your flow config uh, in the in the browser build I'm working on right now. Yeah, right. should be easy. should be easy. Cool. Thanks. All right. So let's go on with the next one, which is Vasco. Hello. Um, for for me this week, uh, I did. Uh, and uh, merge to PRs. Uh, then I started uh, another three issues that I described in the blocked uh, zone because uh, I wrote uh, a suggestion uh, in the issue I need um, approval or opinions of the vid, and so I didn't finish them well because I just wanted to confirm that ideas before real implementing them. Um, then uh, uh, I'm also, I've been previously uh, also analyzing the implementation of IPNS uh, of Go, as well as the IPFS service worker, because they are my OKRs for the, for the next uh, weeks. So I get some time to analyze how it is implemented to improve my, uh, my way. Uh, in the next weeks. Um, besides that, uh, I'm uh, I'm blocked also in the service worker requirements that I need also from the VIS, and uh, it will be what I'm planning to do this week: the blocked issues as well as uh, starting the OKR for IPFS service workers. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, thank you. So the next one is Rob. Um, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot to say. I'm just floating around helping to provide review on anything related to documentation, and documentation type concepts and, and examples and things. Um, so if you're working on any of that stuff, please don't hesitate to tag me on it. Um, but the mainstay of my work right now is happening over in the docs repo where I'm focusing on uh, kind of rewriting the introductory guide. Um, so there's a draft right there now on sort of the um, part one of that, which is just uh, sort of like, welcome to IPFS, here's a high level introduction of the concepts, which is attempting to get people um, 
intent wise on the same page with where we want people to be thinking about IPFS, but also like the general concepts of about how it works and how stuff is available or not available on the system and things like that. Um, so it's not super technical, that part, and then the next parts will be technical. Uh, if you have feedback or you're interested in that, uh, please hop over there and give feedback, and that's the slash docs, IPFS slash docs repo. All right, thank you. So the next one is Aching Brain. Hi. <clears> Hi, <throat> right, so I've been... Uh, it's from the beginning of the week, finishing off the stream slicing PRs. Um, so that's in the, uh, the Unix FS engine, being able to take uh, offset and lengths instead of offset and counts as we decided last Monday. Um, so the PRs of the documentation got merged. Um, I think the ones to the Unix FS engine is still outstanding. Uh, and then there's a follow on one for JSRTFS, which is also outstanding. Um, so they need some review and some merging. Um, then I picked up the NFS stuff. I've got uh, implement, implementations of uh, Make Deer, LS, Re, uh, I'm sorry, LS, um, and Stat working. Uh, I've just been working on getting uh, read and write for files working. Um, so I've got like a kind of a noddy implementation of those. Um, they live in uh, a repo called JS IPFS MFS. Um, as uh, yeah, David Diaz suggested, putting in a new repo. Uh, so it's in that little tongue twister. Um, yep, so if anyone wants to take a look, that's cool. Uh, I have been fleshing out, uh, just stubbing tests out based on the Go implementation. Uh, so when it's kind of more stable, I'll be able to run those tests against Go as well and put them into the interface core um, repo, which should be fun. So I'm kind of blocked on those stream slicing PRs and carrying on with the MFS stuff. All right, thank you. Next one is Jacob. Yeah, so last week I created a PR for adding the ability to add custom locks to IPFS repo. Um, I've gotten quite a few of feedback on that um, from Rob and some other people. So I'm working on getting that um, updated early this week. And then I'm also working on the private network for JS IPFS. Um, and I'll be continuing development on that this week. I don't have any blockers right now. Thank you. Next one is Dimitri. Hey. Um, so last week I spent uh, working on the multiplexer again and uh, looking, basically just trying to integrate it and making sure all works. Uh, I found a few inconsistencies with the spec and the current Go implementation. <clears throat> and uh, we corrected them. I believe uh, um, Sabalin is looking into those right now. Um, I'm basically concentrating on making everything, all the testing pass and performance, uh, which is really, really close to the original implementation. And there's still a long way. Uh, I, I think I still have some room to improve it, so I expect it to be a little bit faster, but we'll see. <laughs> um, and also starting to look into uh, the NAT stuff that, that is part of my OKRs for this quarter. So um, that's, uh, that's it. I, I got pretty much all of the uh, test passing uh, across GeoCFS and Interrupt. Um, the ones that are failing are browser for some unrelated reasons, I believe, uh, it seems like, but everything else is passing, so it's really surprising and exciting. <laughs> All right, um, does anyone else share his status? If not, I didn't see any hands, so let's see, are there any questions? I don't see them in the agenda, but Victor has one. Um, so I, I was thinking, sorry about my dogs in the background. Um, I was thinking about the DNS uh, multi-adder that I think Basco was blocked by, I think. I, yeah. I, was, I was supposed to be to comment in, your, in the issue, but I haven't uh, yet had time for it. The short version is that multi-adder 
hasn't really been expanded further than like really basic use cases yet. It still hasn't got like a proper spec, uh, which I am I'm starting now and to make sure that our libraries are implementing this new spec and, and all that stuff. The short version is that you should be able to do slash DNS4, slash the, the host, slash TCP, slash 5001, slash HTTP. And that should be working in JSI PFS as well. I, I will send you the, the full string on IRC as well. Uh, just, okay. so you, just so you can continue to move on with that uh, specific issue. The, the problem is that probably multi adder itself does not support this right now. So the support is going to have to come from either multi adder or multi adder net which I am unsure if we have a package for. Uh, but we can continue the discussion offline as well. But you should be able to move on uh, once we have that information, whatever. OK, thank you. Uh, i talk to you later about it. All right. <laughs> anything else? Um, now is the time to raise your hand if you want to say anything or comment anything. I don't see any hands, which is pretty cool because last week we thought about extending this meeting to 45 minutes and now we have only 20 minutes, which is great. <laughs> so yeah, then I will close this meeting and thanks everyone for joining. See you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.